so I started to play around with the Baroque violin uh, more seriously now that yesterday's recital is over and uh, I followed uh, Jen Hill's suggestion maybe to not change too much uh, and to make it uh, like too authentic with the way I'm holding the violin. So I put this little uh, tap uh, pad below and immediately, I mean, this feels uh, much better. <laughs> I feel like I can actually play. Maybe not shift and maybe not vibrate, but like play in first position. So then um, I'm using the Baroque bow, of course, um, and I'm holding it up a little bit more here to the top. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, a little bit away from the frog. And um, yeah, so <laughs> the violin is really like ringing like crazy while I speak. <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, I mean, there are two approaches, this one, some below the hair and some on the on the um, on the stick, and um, I think even in the early um, 1600s, um, in Italy and then also in England, this bohort was the way people did it. So. I, in the spirit of not changing too much. I'm also doing that here. And uh, I've put out this, um, I took out this um, uh, ground, no, what's that called? A division on a ground. And the ground is the tune, Don't Come Kiss Me Now, that I played the folk version of also. And this is by David Mell. He is 1604 to 1662, so quite early. And um, it's all in first position and it has some interesting bowings like um, uh, 16th notes passage work and also like uh, in a later, this is this one. <laughs> of bowing so I'm not doing that today didn't look at it just demonstrating that the challenges are with the bow and uh, yeah I, <laughs> I tuned <laughs> but not uh, too exactly I didn't have the patience of doing that but it's about okay so uh, the main uh, thing is um, play on the E string this is also yeah, so the D string is actually the easiest to play. It has um, D and G are both um, like gut wound strings, passione, and the A and E are actually pure cut strings and the E string, like I said, <laughs> it's uh, the most difficult to get a good sound. So it's I for now just to see if I can get it to ring. I'm doing like a, a very articulate beginning, and it, it's really like getting the um, the string to 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 vibrate. Um, this is kind of. Uh, this is kind of collet motion, the bow pizzicato idea. So
G-string is the next difficult one after the E-string and it's easier. I mean, I can kind of uh, get this. confidence <laughs> playing but the E string it feels very delicate like the sound breaks up very easily. And there's more dirt in the beginning. So it's really <laughs> it's really delicate. So I actually don't know if that makes sense with the bark bow, but that is what So that is what I learned on the modern violin, like um, start with catching the string but not too much like very very lightly just barely and then have a fast bow i mean in i get great now i get off the string immediately but let's see if i stay because this tune is in G, but um, Okay, so originally I wanted to play at least a few, like one or two, or two of these variations. Maybe I'll do that and then um, maybe already nine minutes. Okay, so I'll do that and then I won't use this video for, um, I don't know, 100 days of practice group or so because it will be too long, but just for myself.
Okay, so these uh, notes actually are all. <laughs> the impression anymore that it is so like um, bright maybe that comes from the effect but hear that much of a difference but so what did I have this here I think um, yeah from the uh, from the position and the idea of having some kind of <laughs> security in the hold um, it also makes a difference to actually have it a little bit more like here and not like here what would be the real baroque tradition because that also kind of gives me less So maybe I can even play it like like this. I will I will see. Um, yeah, what I was kind of fascinated by right now is the resonance of the C. Because on my violin it is really um, very um, covered. Doesn't have much like uh, overtones and uh, that's to be expected but uh, yeah this one <laughs> somehow managed this <laughs> which is nice yeah so
So, I mean, <laughs> that's really an, avan an advantage of the flatter bridge. That this is kind of. <laughs> challenge. 